moving around Niger, West Africa. We are in Niami, Niami, uh, West Africa. You can see the background. We're over at the guest house right now. Uh, we had a, a good flight over. It was uh, it was pretty uneventful. We didn't have any crashes or anything like that. So that always puts it in the good category. It was fun. I I uh, we we took off from um, uh, Chick Fil A where we were. We're a meeting. Bonjour, ça va? All right. We got all our guys working out here, down here. They're doing a lot of uh, work on the on the guest house here. We're, we're checking it all out. Um, it was a little bit, uh, we barely made it on time for the flight. They boarded like a two minutes after we got there. So it was, uh, it worked out pretty well. Uh, we got there okay. We uh, headed on into uh, uh, Paris and uh, they gave me one of these sleeping pills to try and help me to sleep, man. It was kind of weirded me out. It was like, uh, uh, gave me double vision and stuff. That was kind of bizarre. I didn't know. Uh, I'm not going to take any more of those sleeping pills. They're supposed to be helping me. While we're back in Africa, I can hear birds. Oh, look at that. That's a Turaco, man. One of my favorite African birds. I'm not sure which type of Turaco that is, but I definitely know what that is. Let's see if I can see him. They are, they are a bit of a noisy one, and they're kind of big. I don't know if you see them. I'll, I'll zoom it in when I get close to them. They like uh, fruits and things, uh, different uh, uh, kind of uh, goodies that I like to chew on. There were about three or four of them up there. So anyway, I got on the, uh, we got to uh, Paris, made it okay. I slept through most of the stuff. I, I got to actually have uh, like uh, uh you know all three seats for myself so that was cool it was a it was a nice situation not to uh, have to sit up uh, up you know standing the whole time so that was cool um, and uh, it was good uh, we've got to see Laura in the background she's the uh, one that's kind of taking care of the uh, the guest house where we're staying uh, we um, uh, this uh, this is a pepper tree here this one can you see it? That's pepper tree. I grew up in one of those in my backyard in Nairobi. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got. Uh, I got on the airplane over there at uh, at on Air France. Uh, the one from Paris went real well. Uh, pretty much crashed out most of that time. It, it worked out well, and uh, um, except for the double vision business, so I'm not gonna take any of those sleeping meds anymore. And um, then went on to uh, Air France and on. To from uh, we stayed in Paris for about four hours uh, that was cool too uh, my favorite part about being in Paris was of course start to speak French again which I haven't done and uh, astonishingly my French was was pretty good uh, I was able to remember pretty much everything that I, uh, I had, uh, that I needed to say so that was good news and I went uh, and I got some uh, chocolate bread and and uh, and some coffee so uh, that made me happy and then I went over to, uh, we, we got on the plane and went on to uh, Niamey uh, here in, uh, in West Africa, in Niger. And I rode next to a, a Tuareg guy named uh, Bahim, who was doing linguistic study. It was cool to talk with him, too. He was actually a, a converted uh, Muslim guy. He had, uh, his parents had worked with the missionaries and they had become believers. So that was really neat, too. Uh, and uh, then one of the other guys on the uh, on the flight was actually uh, the uh, ambassador for France uh, for Niger, so that was pretty cool too. We got over to the airport and it was like, uh, you know, uh, 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 the VIP vans and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty cool. I, don't know, I wasn't a very important person. But anyway, it was kind of cool to see that. And, and I got all my partners through this stuff. You know, I was able to help translate for them in French. And last night uh, was, was an okay night. I got up. I had no idea what time it was or anything. It was about, now I can tell that I got up about three and stayed up for a couple, three hours and did some studying and stuff. And uh, before I went to, uh, you know, went back to sleep and slept about another three or four hours. So I'm feeling pretty spunky today. Uh, let me show you what we what we're looking at over here.